According to the website, the 20K Ultra Trail is a crazy bike adventure on the highest roads and trails in the Western Alps that won't just leave their mark but an unforgettable scar on every finisher. The name is inspired by the first edition, which contained 20,000 meters of climbing. But since the route has lengthened and now contains over 25,000 meters of climbing total. It's um, Saturday, the 30th. We're encountering about a four to five hour delay on the original plan, which puts our intended pit stop for the night in question. You see the ship? All of the big ship is arriving. Oh, it's a big hidden With the 10 p.m. night start, the idea was to ride straight through the first night and the first day and then settle into a daily sustainable rhythm, prioritizing sleeping inside each night even for only 4 to 5 hours. The time limit of 7 days is a real challenge, and this is on purpose, as earning the title of finisher for the 20k is a true achievement. Andrea has kept the event small at a maximum of 50 riders. To earn a spot on the starting list, one must demonstrate previous experience in a similar alpine unsupported environment. But hand in hand with the struggle, there are the constant moments of pure joy. The solitude of crossing high altitude passes, the amazing scenery that changes every day, the magical sunsets and sunrises stuck in our minds, and the simple freedom of being on the road and in constant motion.
here and here. Really good access. Eating a sandwich. A little heat crisis. We raced the 20k ultra trail on our gravel bikes with 650B wheels and extra wide tires. The choice was not an easy one, as the route is definitely at the intersection of gravel and mountain bike territory. The start line proved as much, with many choices from both sides of the camp. Before the event, I had asked Andrea which bike he would recommend, and he told me, you will be faster on a gravel, but on a mountain bike you will have more fun. The reality of 25,000 meters of off-road climbing felt often overwhelming, with the rough gravel descents that had you begging for more climbing and the steep climbing in the heat that had you begging for more descents. There was no relief or a way out from the discomfort except moving forward one step closer to the finish. And that's the part that we don't take. This was our third ultra cycling race this year and second time competing as a pair. After a fairly conservative strategy in our first race where everything went to plan and an aggressive strategy at our second race where nothing went to plan really, we were hoping to hit a sweet spot of pushing but in a controlled and sustainable way. Head, uh, move over so I can go around me.
The route is the making of local cyclist Andrea Colino, who has poured all his local knowledge and passion into creating something really incredible. He masterfully connected all the best of the best gravel highlights of the Western Alps into an incredibly difficult but extremely well thought out route. What is it about this single and all-encompassing mission of following a line on a GPS device that brings us such immense joy and quietness of the mind? Is it the landscape itself? Or is it the activity of cycling across it? Or is it the challenge of going as fast as you can and the resulting discomfort that comes from it? Or is it the contrast between all this discomfort and the final moment of relief when you reach the finish? Is it the shared experience with the other racers, or is it the satisfaction of beating them to the finish? Or is it about the lessons that we learn about ourselves when we are out yeah. there alone? <laughs> 